I think with the CARES Act and what we're seeing right now in government, that we're going to see way more money printed and way more money injected into the system, which will cause gold, silver, Bitcoin uh, to go up. <laughs> You look at the price of silver and a lot of people will think, oh look, the price of silver is going up, but it's not really, it's the value of the dollars going down. I personally think that silver is a better investment right now uh, than gold because if you look at, uh, this is a weekly chart going all the way back to after the 2008 financial crisis, there was a spike in silver that went all the way up to $49, close to $50 an ounce. And right now we're only less than half that at $23 an ounce. Uh, whereas gold is already up beyond its all time highs of $1,900. It's now at $1,961. And so gold right now, uh, if it were to pull back, it could fall, you know, all the way down to its all time lows of $1,000 in the past, um, the past decade. Whereas silver, we're closer to the lows and we have all of this potential gain. And so uh, I've been investing in silver since um, since it was at $18, um, $18 an ounce. And I'm going to hold silver until we get to 50, at least till we get to 50. I think that the amount of money that we're printing out right now is going to far surpass what we printed out in 2008. So I believe that silver has a lot of potential to get to 50 and even above 50. So it's a it's a long term hold. So there's three major ways that you can get involved in buying silver. The first is buying the physical. So buying the physical, a lot of people don't know where to buy um, physical. Uh, there's this guy. Uh, George Gammon, and he's a macroeconomist, e economist, um, and so he interviews guys like Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Doug Casey, um, Jim Richards. He's just a really uh, good um, macroeconomist, and uh, there is one video that he was interviewing this guy, Mark Yaxley, and Mark Yaxley, is he is... Um, he is the CEO of um, this company called uh, Strategic Wealth Preservation, and they allow you to uh, easily buy any kind of uh, precious metal. So there's three steps in, in how it works. You open your account, so you just put in your information. It takes a couple of days for them to approve that. Then you're allowed to uh, purchase precious metal. And with that metal, you can either take delivery, uh, have it shipped to you in the US for $50, or you can have it stored with them. Um, they have 10 storage locations all over the globe. This is the website, swpcayman.com. And you can invest in the physical uh, through this reputable company. Uh, so physical gold, that's one way to do it. The other way is ETFs and ETFs work like stocks. It's electronically traded funds. SLV is the, the best or uh, the most popular uh, ETF where you can get exposure to silver. And so um, they're holding this much silver in their, in their trust. Uh, 566 million ounces of silver. It's worth uh, $13 billion. And the way that you can buy it, it works just like buying shares. Um, so so uh, I use Tastyworks as my brokerage firm. Um, I've been trading for about 20 years and I can't say enough good things about Tastyworks. The fills that they have, um, how quickly the how quickly the fills are um, executed. Uh, lots of times when I order a stock or a future, uh, an option, I get filled at a better price than the order that I put it in. So. Um, over the course of time, that's worth literally thousands and thousands of dollars. So um, if you choose to open up an account, it, it takes uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes to open up an account. And uh, if you use the affiliate link that's in the description um, and message me on, um, on Instagram and you can see my um, handle down there, um, I'd be more than happy to help you set up your first trade uh, just to say thank you. Um, so anyway, um, the first way is you would click in uh, SLV, the ticker symbol, and click on the ask. 
and you can buy the lowest amount one share all the way up to whatever shares you want so one share would cost 21.68 and uh, you can see that it uh, if you have a margin account it would only cost you ten dollars and 84 cents half of the price and for every dollar that silver goes up your account will go up a dollar if you want to buy a hundred shares um, then it would cost you half of that if you have a margin account the full amount if you don't have margin um, but most people have a margin account if you have more than two thousand dollars that you open up an account with so your account uh, would be reduced by a thousand dollars to buy two thousand dollars worth of silver and for every dollar that silver goes up then you would see your account go up by a hundred dollars because you're buying a hundred shares so that's the way that ETFs work um, it's a one for one and so I talked earlier that silver has the, the potential of getting up to about fifty dollars so we're at uh, about $25 so you're looking at uh, 2500 or 2500 if um, if you buy 100 shares so that's your potential profit um, and if you're just doing it as a hedge against the dollar losing value I would just suggest that um, you put a, a chunk of whatever your you have in your savings account that's just sitting in the bank doing nothing that's a good um, a good place to move your capital out of the dollar and into um, something that has intrinsic value um, so that's SLV um, the other way to purchase that's a little bit more leveraged is to buy the futures of silver and so the futures of silver is leveraged um, there's two futures one is the micro future and one is the full size future the full size future of silver uh, trades 5,000 troy ounces. And so for every one contract that you hold, you're actually holding about 5,000 troy ounces. That means that every dollar that it goes up, um, your account will go up or down $5,000. So the way that you do that is you go into your account, whether it's uh, Thinkorswim or uh, TD Ameritrade, Tastyworks, Robin Hood, whatever you use, and type in forward slash SI. So uh, you click on the ask, and then you can see that um, the buying power reduction is about $11,000. So $11,000, and you get um, 5,000 5, troy ounces worth of silver. So for every dollar that it goes up, you would make five thousand dollars for every dollar that silver goes down you'd lose five thousand dollars so you're looking at a potential if we're uh, looking at silver going all the way up to 25 uh, another 25 dollars 25 times five is a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so um that's for an account that's uh, a bigger bigger account i don't personally use uh, that contract I use the mini futures contract so the mini futures contract is a thousand troy ounces and the way that you would do that is you type in forward slash sil and that gives you exposure to the mini futures uh, click on the ask and you can see the price here um, and your account it would cost two thousand dollars for exposure for a thousand troy ounces that means for every dollar that silver goes up you make a thousand and for every dollar it goes down you lose a thousand so you're looking at if we go up 25 dollars from here you're looking at a twenty five thousand dollar profit um, if it goes down you're looking at uh, the same the same type of loss so that is the futures contract and that's how you can get exposure to silver um, a lot of people are scared of uh, the risk that that it, when you use leveraged instruments. So risk management, this is the way that I manage my risk and it's proven very uh, uh, profitable for me. And I use this um, indicator called the average true range. So the average true range tells you uh, over the last seven days how much the underlying 
instrument has fluctuated. So what we're seeing here in silver is that the average true range is a dollar is a dollar and fifty cents per day. So if it's fluctuating a dollar and fifty cents per day, then that means that my account needs to handle um, if I'm doing this the mini um, silver futures contract that my account needs to be able to handle fluctuations of a thousand five hundred dollars per day. So if I have an account of a hundred thousand dollars, then it's only fluctuating at 1.5% every day, which I feel is a very acceptable um, amount of fluctuation. Um, the S&P fluctuates about, or right now it's on a big day, it will fluctuate about 5% on a bigger day, on a huge day. So 5% uh, is kind of the top of what you want your account to fluctuate per day. And you can control that by looking at the ATR or the average true range. You can see that when we hit $50 a while back that the average true range of silver was all the way up at four and so you would just um, scale appropriately if that if four thousand dollars is too much uh, fluctuation in your account uh, trading the micro futures then you would just go to the ETF um, and and trade there um, so so this is um, this is gold and um, or that silver and the ATR, how you um, use the ATR to manage your risk. And um, like how I said earlier, how high can it go? We've seen that gold has already hit its all-time high of $1,900. And I believe that uh, silver will follow suit. And we're here at $24. I think that we could get all the way up to 50 So hope that was helpful. And... Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, I think that silver is a much better uh, store of value than the U.S. dollar. And um, and this is a great time to, to buy silver. So have a good day.